Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing this Christmas look for you and also reviewing the new La Roque Cosmetics The Circus Tent Palette. I did receive this in PR but I've not been paid to make this video. So if you would like to see what this palette looks like on the inside then please keep watching. So here is the palette, oh my gosh, I love like the holographic kind of thing to it. This is my favourite packaging that they've done for a palette so far. And then we've got this on the back. So I also came with this little card here, I think this is so cute, it's a nice wee touch to add to it. So let's open it up. Wow. This is so gorgeous, it does remind me of the Carnival. Two palette I think it's got the same kind of color scheme so it goes from like the yellows and oranges to like the darker colors this is the pressed glitter here I'm gonna put it on my finger now oh it's very soft it's just such a cool color like it's a nice green and sort of pinky to it I might put that in this look today actually I'm also loving this blue shimmer here this is so gorgeous it really stands out to me but today we are doing a Christmas look so I will be focusing more on the reds and the greens which is very exciting. So I'm starting off with the P. Louise bases as always and this is base two and three mixed together. Now don't mind me, my face is white today and my neck is brown. It's because I tanned last night and I didn't put any tan and moisturizer on my face because I was doing some nice skincare stuff. And I'm starting off by going into Dragon here. This is a nice dark green color. And with a Morphe M431 brush, you can use code GLAMFAM1168 for money off Morphe. And I'm just applying this right above my crease making sure it's nice and dark. I'm bringing this into the center of my eye and just towards the inner corner of my eye. And I'm going into Blood Mary here, and this is the dark red. And with an Eggshell 815 brush, and I'm applying this from the center of my eye and then winging it out into my temple. I'm also not yet connecting the green and the red because they're clashing colors, so we'll need to put a transition shade in between them. I'm now gonna go into Giggles up here, and this is an orange shade, and that's because it's kind of in the middle of a green and a red. And I'm just gonna blend this as best as I can. It's probably not gonna look perfect. So I'm using a Peaches and Cream PC20 brush and just applying that in between the two shades that we've already done. I'm now going to go into Fun House. This is like a super cool green up here. And with a Morphe M506 brush, I'm just blending this above the green that we already have. And I'm now going into Creepy Clown with a clean Morphe M506 brush. And I'm just blending this above the red that we've already done and again blending it out into my temple. So I'm now just going back in the darker colours and darkening these up. I'm just going to go back in with this red that we had and I'm going to mix it with the black to darken up the red side because the green is quite a bit darker. So the black in this palette is top hat here. So now that I've done that I'm really wanting to do the same with the green actually. So again I'm just mixing the dark green and the black and just darkening this up a little bit. And now I'm going in with my trusty Vaseline and I'm going to cut the crease. And I'm just making sure that all that Vaseline is removed with a little cotton bud. I'm now going in with the P. Louise Re-White base and this is the first time I've used this on camera. I've used it once before. And using a Peaches and Cream PC40 brush, this is a nice rounded and flat brush. I'm just again cutting the crease with that. And I'm also applying this all the way down to my lash line because we're going to be applying shadow on top of this. I'm now going to basically mirror the shape that I've done here but I'm swapping it over. So I'm going to do red on this side and green on this side but I'm going to be leaving a gap to put glitter in the middle. So I'm going into Bloody Mary again and with a Morphe M224 brush I'm just applying Bloody Mary into the inner part of my eye and I'm using the edge of this brush to have a sharp line. I'm now going back into Dragon. And using one of the P. Louise's cancelled brushes, this is 7072 and it's nice and flat also. I'm just doing the same sort of winged out look. I'm now going to go in with burlesque and this is a pressed glitter and I'm going to apply this to the white. It does have a little bit of green and sort of red in it so I'm hoping that it will look Christmassy. That's so pretty. I'm now going to line my eyes with the Bobbi Brown gel liner. 
And now I'm just going to clean up underneath my eyes and then apply a base under and then I'll be right back to show you what I'm going to do under my eyes. So I have primed underneath my eyes and I also put some eyeliner into my lash line and set it with top hat here, just the black one again. And I'm now going back into Blood Mary with a Morphe Madison beer brush and I'm just applying this to the inner half of my eye, right underneath my lash line. And I'm now going back into Dragon with a Peaches and Cream PC31 brush and I'm applying this to the outer half my eye underneath my lash line. I'm now going back into Creepy Clown and I'm also applying this underneath my lash line just to smoke it out a little bit. And I'm now going back into Fun House and with the same M152 brush I'm just applying this underneath my eyes again to smoke out the green. I'm now going to blend those colours into the black using Top Hat and a Peaches and Cream PC41 brush and this is just going to make sure that those colours blend in quite nicely and there's not like a dark black in the waterline and then into light colours underneath. I'm now going to go into the highlighter Wonder Wall. This is a nice sort of gold kind of colour. Just swatch it on my finger just now. Oh it's so pretty, it looks like a pearl. And I'm just applying this into the inner corner of my eye. Now I'm looking a bit mental but once I've done my base off camera and got my lashes on we'll look and be looking so much better I hope. So I'm going to come back with all my face completely done and I will see you in a minute. And this is the finished look. Actually, I'm going to put a Christmas hat on. My final thoughts on the Circus palette. Keep in mind I've not actually not used very many shades. I like it. Woohoo! All the colours are so gorgeous. The mattes are so soft. The shimmers look so bright and the glitter was really good. Just be careful not to dip too hard into this glitter because it is really, really soft. I like the highlighters as well, I actually mix the two highlighters together for my cheeks. It's a little bit more subtle, it's not quite as blinding as some of their other highlighters I've had, but that's quite nice if you're wanting to go for a more natural look. I love how people will watch this and be like, your highlighter is literally mental, and I'll be like, so yeah, I'm super happy with the palette. And thank you to Laroc for sending me it. I'm super happy with it and I can't wait to use it more. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please like this video, comment below and subscribe. That would be fantastic. You're already here. Why not press the subscribe button? If you've got to the end, please leave an emoji, a Christmas emoji. I want a Christmas emoji in the comments so I know you got to the end. In the next month, I've got lots of Christmas themed videos coming up. So I hope that you stay around to see those. And I will see you then. Bye 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 bye.